Business is gradually becoming a familiar site for many residents of the Federal Capital Territory. Cattle cohabiting with human beings. They disrupt car movement and litter the streets. This has raised serious concern among residents. Cows can be reared in local villages, not in the city. This is the federal capital of the territory, referring to Nigeria as a country. So whoever coming as a foreigner come to the city, you understand? And seeing cows on our streets of the city is not a good thing. So they should maybe have a grazing area, just like other countries that they have ranges, all of, all of those things, I'm sure it's good for them. If they should make laws that will restrict them, just like we have had it in Ekiti State. We should have laws to do or to restrict that movement of those animals. If, if by so doing, they sh if they must create ra ranches, then they should create ranches. Cattle grazing is illegal in Abuja city center. But the recent surge has raised questions on what the FCT administration is doing to address the menace. The Abuja Environmental Protection Board has a task force that includes security operatives to enforce the directive of the FCT administration. But that has not yielded much result. Run, run. Instead, the herdsmen argue that there is no place for them to go. As part of efforts to totally stop the activities of the herdsmen, the FCT minister, Mala Mohamed Bellu, directed that the cattle must stay away from the city centre. There is no way in a modern city like Abuja. Uh, that, you know, animals will compete with vehicular traffic on the street. It brought to the border the need for us as an administration to try as quickly as possible to fast track all the grazing reserves that are already in place within the, within the uh, territory, the one in Guagalada, the one in Karshi, the one in, you know, Buari and I think Kuje. A total of 33,485 hectares have already been earmarked for grazing reserves to cater for about 7 million herds of cattle in the FCT.